Iceland is a remarkable country, but a very challenging country to take landscape photographs in. It's got a very diverse palette of colours. Ultimately, I'm looking for fine light and great landscape. I want these two elements to come together in a single moment. The key to good landscape photography is essentially about connecting with the landscape. And only then will you start to create images that ultimately transcend reality. If you're not inspired by the landscape, how can other people be inspired by the photographs you take? We're heading out now to the snout of the glacier where we'll find tall blue cliffs of ice. These bergs are just amazing. The colour and the size of this is absolutely remarkable. Just to see this landscape is really exciting. There is really nowhere else on the planet that you can see this type of landscape unless you're in the Arctic or in the Antarctic. What I'm trying to do here is capture this timeless quality of the ice. This image uh, really has a, a unique colour of blue. I know that I'll need to process them in aperture to ensure that I get the exact colours that I'm seeing in front of me. Raw images by default need saturation and contrast added to them and Aperture gives you the tools to do that in real time. What Aperture does in the digital world is that it allows me to see images very, very quickly in the same way as I used to return to the lab and get 40 sheets of 120 roll film that I would scan very quickly over a light box it gets the images in front of me. I can see this, the ones that are really successful, the ones that fall a bit short of my visualization. It gives me the confidence to go out the next day knowing that my settings and exposures are right. So the sun is just breaking through the clouds. There's a rather thin cloud base that's sitting on top of the ocean, but it's giving us some fantastic colours. So I'm shooting with a slow shutter speed here. I'm on a tripod. I've got the lens stopped down to about f11, between f11 and 16. Uh, with a lens like this, there's not really any benefit to stopping the lens down any further. So uh, I've got the lens working at an aperture that I'm comfortable will give me the quality of reproduction that I seek and I can see now the sun is just beginning to break the horizon and I want to shoot this before I get flare. Yeah, that's lovely. So I've just downloaded the images from this morning's shoot into Aperture. I'm keen to see the colours that have been recorded. I also want to check for flare. Uh, round the sun there you can see a little hot spot but I haven't got any of the characteristic um, lens refractions that take place when sun um, hits a lens. So it looks like it's been a bit of a success. Photography is essentially a blend of craft and art and the key is to bring your craft up to a level so that you're able to shoot the images that you've conceptualised in your mind. It's about being in the right place at the right time with the right equipment and that's what gives you the perfect shot.